In today's video, we're going to be looking at calibrating the Apera TDS20 and the PH20 instruments. To do these, we'll be using the calibration solutions that come With each one there are instructions in here they're relatively easy to follow but if like me you'd sooner be shown how to do these then this is a video for you things you'll need for this then are some tissue some pure water so i'm using reverse osmosis water at my ro unit you could use deionized water the two solutions that come with the the kit when you buy the pen and the pen itself so the one that i'm starting with is the tds meter first step give the tip of the device a good rinse a good wash in the pure water shake off any excess and then dry that tip don't be too forceful but dry that tip then we're going to switch on our device using the top button. Put that down for a second. So what I'm doing, I'm using the, well, you start with the 1413 for the TDS. I'm actually going to dip it in here because I'm nearly out and I need to buy some more. Previously to that, what I had been doing was putting some into the cap. Remember, you need to rinse this out after every time and dry that out as well. But because I'm using the solution, I'm about to purchase some new solution for this. So we'll start with the 1413. I'm going to dip my liquid in, my device in there. I might actually need to tip some out because I am down to the dregs in here. So put that in. Make sure the tip's in there. Hold the calibration button and enter calibration mode. And what it will do, it will recognize the liquid at the bottom and settle. So at the moment, it's flicking between 14, 13, and 12, 28. So it hasn't worked out which one's there yet. And now it's stopped on 1413. It's got a smiley face. And then you press and hold the calibration button. And it sets that at 1413. Take that out. Repeat the process. I'm just rinsing off and drying the tip. And then for a two point calibration, sometimes I only do the one. For a two-point calibration, you then go on and you use the 12.88. So this one is quite full, so I will actually do this in there rather than sort of tipping it away around. And if you notice, I only take my lids halfway off so that I can reuse them to seal. So same process. Let's drop that in. Enter calibration by pressing the hold and calibrate. Wait for it to settle. And you should get a little smiley face next to where it's flashing 12881413 and it will settle. And once it's done that, you press and hold. So mine errored actually. So it had gone on, but it, it flicked off, which is good. So now it's settled on 1288. Press and hold. It sets 12.88. Take that out, rinse off, dry it, put it away. So that's the first one done. The TDS 20, and we'll repeat that process on the pH pen. To calibrate the pH pen, similar process. Wash the tip 
and dry the tip. Be careful with this one because there's a glass probe. So don't sort of poke around too much. You can sort of shake off any excess. Switch it on using the on button. And then for this one, we start with pH 7, which is the green liquid. And I'll, I'll do these in the, in the tub just for simplicity. So same process, hold the device in. Just let it settle for a second. So mine's reading, it smiled at pH 7, so it's actually accurate, but I'll enter calibration. It's recognized that the 7, but it's actually reading 7 1. So you calibrate, it calibrates to 7. Job done. Give that a rinse. Shake the excess off, dry that out. And then the same with the pH 4. You can just one point calibrate, but I always like to do two. So I've got a smiley face. Enter calibration. It says four, so it's recognized it's pH four. I've got my smiley face. One click calibrate. That's now reading that solution at four. One thing to remember with your pH pen, I do it with both actually, is never let that tip dry out. So what I usually do is in the cap, I usually put a little bit of RO water at the bottom so there's a bit of humidity in there when it's switched off just to keep that tip moist, but I use them regular anyway, so mine, mine never get an opportunity to dry out. Just finally then, because I've bought both of these, not the combined one, I need to be able to, they never go away in the boxes, they're always out. I need to be able to find out quickly which is my pH and which is my TDS. So on the cap of the TDS, it's just green. And on the cap of the pH, I've just put a little dot sticker on there. And um, don't do what I did and try and calibrate a TDS pen with the pH solution and vice versa <laughs> because it doesn't work. Hope you enjoyed that short video, found it useful, made it a bit easier for you guys to calibrate your Apira pH and TDS pens. If so, and you're not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button. Helps us to grow, helps us to create content like this for you guys and improves all of our lives. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.